Well, hi there, it's Eric with yet another dive and adventure up at Jervis Bay on a big day out with Steve. Don't you love this little fella? I mean, check this bit out. Ah, it's got to hurt. Anyway, <laughs> Steve and I stayed at the Bushy Tailed Caravan Park at Wright's Beach. And it's a lovely spot, it's boat friendly, it's kangaroo friendly, it's diver friendly, it's overall pretty friendly. And a few of the other divers stayed up there with us and we had a barbecue that evening, a few drinks, chilled out and then the next morning Steve and I started like mad, filling up the boat with stuff. Now oh, we don't make too bad a team you know, I like helping Steve, except when I break my ankle. Have six weeks off. Haha. <laughs> anyway, it's only a very short drive from Wright's Beach to the boat ramp to Murray's Beach boat ramp. Everybody met us there. Get your stuff on the boat, get yourself on the boat, and motor on over. It's a beautiful day. Blue sky, nice and warm, pretty flat on the way out. And there we are, moored at our first spot which was a little bit of a snorkel trek and you've got this little cave I guess it is to swim through with these beautiful sheer cliffs that go straight down into the water and some of these go oh, 10 meters 15 meters straight down and it's a great little swim through there's this little bit of water that flushes you around throws you about There's a nice bit of depth there, generally with quite a few fish. It's a good snorkel in the afternoon actually, there's a lot more light, but the morning's pretty good too. And we spent quite a bit of time there, exploring the little cavelets, having a look around, floating, chatting, lazing about. I really love the fact that you don't have to rush to get back on a boat. You can just take your time. Well, eventually it was uh, time to finish up and get to our first dive. And of course, where do you think we went? But another cave. And this is a great little cave. It's not too far in. It has an air gap at the top. There's actually sunlight coming in at the very top. It's nice and wide, you're not too deep down, so it's a great dive for novice divers or newbies. We had to take torches because it was fairly early in the morning. But generally there's a surprising amount of light in there. And you'll quite often encounter Wobbegong Shark and a few other things floating and moping about out of the rat race of Jervis Bay. And of course, speaking of wobbegongs, what should swim right past us? But a carpet shark. And of course, what video of Jervis Bay would be complete without a blue groper? I love these fellas. And we went a ways round to uh, the other side. And eventually, of course, we run out of air and we have to come up back up to the boat. And we spent a little bit of time uh, just sort of floating and chatting and then uh, getting ourselves ready to get around for lunch. Again, it's just an absolutely beautiful day. Even Steve jumped in and had a swim. So we motored on around to Boat Harbour, had lunch, spent about an hour and a half there, I suppose, chatting and some people had a snooze, walked around the beach, bludged about, ah, just enjoyed ourselves.
and then eventually it was time to get back on the boat. Because I was getting over my broken ankle, I didn't have to carry anything. Nothing. Just me, the camera. It's fantastic. Anyway, we got around to our second dive site, which was a little place called Shark Rock. It's called Shark Rock because every now and again you'll see some sharks there. And I think it goes down to about 15 metres. Water was a bit murky and unfortunately we didn't see any grey nurse sharks on that day. But apparently the last uh, big day out, they did. So, that, so they are there. I really love the white sand and just how it illuminates the water and kind of helps with the visibility really. And there's Bert coming out of a vertical swim through. I wish I had have known about this one because I would have followed them through. But next time, I'm going to find it and go through it. And then of course, it was eventually time to come back to Murray's Beach. And we spent time unloading the boat, having a chat, chilling out, just doing stuff. And we all headed home. Love that drive back from Jervis Bay. Well, thank you, Steve, for hosting such a beautiful day out. And I'll see you guys in the water sometime. Bye.